Hello everyone, I am Ms. Janani, Assistant Professor, Department of Chemistry, Kaysa College of Arts and Science for Women. In today's session, we are going to discuss about P-block elements from General Chemistry 2. This is the basic outline of your periodic table, where the group 1 and 2 belongs to X-block elements, and the group from 13 to 18 belongs to P-block elements. The D-block elements were also called as transition elements, which are group 13 to 12, and the we arrange the f-block elements below the periodic table which are called inner transition elements. Introduction to p-block elements. p-block elements were arranged in a group 13 to 18. The general configuration is ns2, np126. In this syllabus, we have group 15 and group 16. This is the basic outline of p-block uh, where we can separately see the metal, metalloids and non-metals using the different colored arrangements. Group 17 is called halogen family. Group 18 is the noble gas. Uh, we are going to see the group 15 nitrogen family and group 16 oxygen family in the upcoming videos. Group 15 nitrogen family which has the configuration of NS2 NP3. The element of group 15 are nitrogen, phosphorus, arsenic, antimony, bismuth. In this syllabus we are going to see some hydrates phosphines and oxy acids of nitrogen and phosphorus. This is the basic uh, elements present in the group 15, nitrogen, phosphorus, arsenic, antimony and bismuth with the atomic number 7, 15, 33, 51 and 83 respectively with the outer electronic configuration of NS2 and NP3 arrangements. The abundance uh, chart shows that uh, it is phosphorus is the highest abundant in the nitrogen family. Some basic characteristics of group 15 are given here. Here first we see what is electronegativity. Electronegativity is nothing but the ability of the atom to attract electrons. And the ionization enthalpy is the nothing but the amount of energy required to remove an electron from the atom and its gaseous phase. Here the electronegativity decreases down the group as well as the ionization enthalpy also decreases down the group. The atomic radii increases down the group the electron affinity. Electron affinity is nothing but the ability of the atom to accept an electron which again decreases down the group. Melting point, we all know that the amount of energy required to break the bond to change from solid to liquid phase. This is the melting point which increases on going down the group. Whereas the boiling point also increases on going down the group. The difference between boiling point and melting point is nothing but the change of phases from liquid to gas means it is boiling point. Change of gas from solid to liquid means it is called melting point. Hydrates. All form of hydrates will have the formula EH3, where E is nothing but any element. Here the hydrates belongs to nitrogen family. So it may be nitrogen, phosphorus, arsenic, bismuth, and so on. The general oxidation state is minus 3. Ammonia is also one of the hydrates. The stability of hydrate decreases down the group due to the decreasing bond dissociation. Energy down the group. So the decreasing order is given as follows. Oxygen family. Oxygen, sulfur, selenium, tellurium and polonium are the elements present in oxygen family with the general electronic configuration NS2 and NP4. These are the basic characteristics of the oxygen family. The atomic radiable increases down the group. The electronegativity decreases down the group. Ionization enthalpy decreases down the group as well. Electron affinity also decreases down the group. The melting point increases on going down the group. And the boiling point also increases on going down the group. The general common oxidation state is minus 2. Some other oxidation uh, states of chalcogen family, which is nothing but the oxygen family is plus 2, minus 2, plus 4 and plus 6. So, okay. Ozone is nothing but the allotrope of oxygen which will form when a uh, oxygen molecule is exposed to UV light. Uh, we can get a nascent oxygen, which on further reaction with oxygen molecule, we get ozone. We can see in this picture, right? Ozone is a pale blue gas, slightly soluble in water and much more soluble in inert and non-polar solvent, such as carbon tetrachloride or fluorocarbon. It forms blue solution at 161 Kelvin it condenses to form dark blue liquid. The temperature below 80 Kelvin, it forms a violet black solid. Thank you.